Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And what in the world are we doing today? You might be asking yourself that. You say, hey, here's this guy standing in front of a wall with a bunch of wires hanging out of it. If you're new here, I'm David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And what we do here is we help people to make amazing lighting. And honestly, as it goes, amazing productions uh, and events, uh, whether it be audiovisual or lighting. Okay, and today we're, we're stepping the line between audio and video as we sometimes do. And we're talking about video walls. Raise your hand, okay, if you have ever seen somebody install an LED wall. Uh, many times you might think of portable LED walls. They're very popular, people use them all the time. Sometimes they even install them permanently, even though many of these products aren't actually rated for permanent install. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. When it comes to choosing and installing the right LED wall, whether you're a church, a music venue, um, you know, you're putting a sign in a lobby, um, you want to go ahead and get the best thing that you can uh, without, of course, overpaying, right? That's always the biggest thing is uh, we don't mind quality as long as it's not overpriced, right? Um, and in the world of LED walls, like if you just start going out there, you start looking at walls, you're going to see stuff at like a gazillion price ranges, right? There's really inexpensive stuff. And I had a friend uh, whose church bought a wall recently and it was just a nightmare so many dead pixels out of the box they sent a bunch of modules back to get repaired they came back half broken they're still fighting it uh today so you don't want to do that but also you don't want to overpay right led walls um, uh, more than really almost anything else in the industry have a massive range of different price points and sometimes it's hard to tell what might be right for you so today this is going to be a how-to on installing a permanent install LED wall uh, in collaboration with our friends at Creation LED, creationled.video. Okay, um, that's their website. It's not .com, it's a .video. Okay, um, and the reason why we're installing the Creation LED wall, we're gonna show you how to do it today. We're gonna get our review in on Lauren Stage Lighting Gear. We'll be sure to link to that below. Um, is because um, they offer some really unique things. Number one, as I mentioned, hey, um, a lot of these LED walls for portable use, often, if you read the description on them, if you read the manual, if you look at them before you buy them, they may not be uh, appropriate for permanent installation. They may not be rated for that. And that may void your warranty. Okay? Um, and so that's, you know, a really big deal, right? Um, you know, number two, um, let's talk about cleanliness and just, uh, you know, building it, right? If you go with a, a permanent, a portable type wall, it's gonna come with hanging bars like this, right? This is a, an LED wall hanging bar. This is actually for this wall. It can hang off hanging bars like this. But more often than not, when we're talking about a permanently installed venue, you wanna install it on the wall, direct wall mount, using appropriate hardware for the type of wall surface and studs you have. Okay, and then you're gonna have a much cleaner look, right? Because you see here, I mean, we haven't put the wall together yet. It's just a bunch of wires hanging out of the wall, but you can see already like, okay, you know, you don't have this ugly bar at the top and a shackle and some span sets going up to a truss or something like, like you don't have all of that. And maybe that looks okay uh, in your situation, but also it's just a waste of space, right? When you could have it directly on the wall, um, whether they're side screens behind a stage in a lobby, um, this is going straight to the wall if you are going to keep it there permanently uh, really should be something that you do uh, and portable style panels are not going to be set up for that okay they're not going to be designed to do that their cooling is not made to do that their serviceability is not made to do that okay whereas a permanent install type wall like this one can service everything from the front okay so I'm obviously partway through installing this wall. And so what we want to talk about is what have we done so far and what do you need to know? So when you buy a wall like this, and again, this is the Creation LED wall. Um, they did send us this wall uh, to demo, but the opinions are all 
ours, okay? Um, so when you get the wall, it's gonna come, you're gonna have your, your fully assembled panels, okay? So this is a panel um, that I've taken apart already, but fully assembled basically means, so when you get a wall like this, when you get a panel like this in the box, okay, it's gonna be fully assembled so that it ships safely, right? Um, so that means, let me get this wire out of the way, that's annoying, isn't it? Um, so that means that uh, we've got one, there's a back on it. Um, the back here is just purely for a permanent, uh, for if you're using the hanging bars and you can get behind it, then all the wires aren't hanging out. Um, also a status LED on them, but uh, for direct wall mounting, um, that is optional. And in this case, um, with the wood studs that I have, and I'm using wood to support it, um, though in larger setups, um, Unistrut is definitely preferred um, and totally doable. Um, but that back's not needed. Um, next, you have the modules. Okay, so modules are what make up an LED wall. You do need to be careful with them. Um, this is a 2.5 millimeter pixel pitch wall. Okay, and this is a module. So modules attach to the panel and they come attached, like I said, when you purchase it. And they go um, in a particular way. There's always up arrows that match the, the layout of the panel. And they're magnetically attached um, to the wall. Okay. So what that looks like then is that um, these guys just go ahead and they literally snap in right there. Um, and of course, if I were connecting this for real, I would connect my wires first. So I'd connect my power and data, plug those in on the back of the panel, uh, pretty simple, and then go snap it in, okay? Once all your modules are snapped in, uh, if you're you know, just taking it apart to install it like I did, I, I took all the modules off of the panels so I could install them cleanly. Um, then uh, for service down the road, you do get sent a vacuum tool. So the vacuum tool is just a simple uh, little electronic device. It's a little, it creates a vacuum, so it's got a foam gasket. You stick it to the panel, you press the button, it goes zoom, it sucks the panel, and then you could pop it off whether it's on the edge or middle of your wall. Uh, when you're first just installing the wall, when you're first getting it out of the box and taking out all the modules, you don't really have to use the vacuum tool because you can just push them out from the back. Again, being gentle, if you're worried about that, use the tool um, because the last thing you wanna do, especially on your edges, is you really, uh, on the edges, wanna be careful because it can be easy to just go and smack an LED off and then it's gone. Um, that being said, if and when you're buying an LED wall, whether temporary, whether permanent, doesn't matter. Um, whoever is selling you that wall, if they are not giving you spare parts, that is cables, modules, power supplies, go find somebody else to get your wall from. Okay, that's not cool. Um, every wall should come with spare parts because uh, they're, they're delicate electronics. Um, with every wall, no matter how good it is, you will have bad pixels out of the box. You'll have a module that might be flaky. Like I've literally never seen a wall that was 100% after shipping out of the box, okay? Or maybe it is 100% and you get, you know, 10, 20 hours down the road, one of the modules gets flaky. It happens, it's easy to switch out. If you have the spare parts, which anybody reputable is going to bundle spare parts with their wall. If they don't, don't buy it. Okay, so we popped all our modules out. Um, now the next thing to do is mount them to the wall. As I mentioned, I started with some wood slats here um, to mount to my studs, and then I'm mounting the wall to those. Okay, now these panels, uh, back to the overhead actually, um, have locks in them, okay, that are a turn and then tighten on threads, um, and they tighten up really nice to hold the panels together, okay? We also have, let me grab one, brackets of various sizes uh, for the, the horizontal, for the vertical, and for the four-way panel connections as well. Um, and those tighten up on the back and using some Allen-based screws um, and just give the wall a little bit more rigidity. Um, technically, you could possibly, depending on how you're hanging the wall, you could possibly skip them, um, but they do give you more rigidity and they are um, recommended, uh, especially in a permanent situation. So with that said, guys, I'm gonna get back and hang the rest of my panels. I've got six total, two are up right now, okay? Then we'll come back, we'll, we'll start bringing in modules, show you how that is, 
um, wire up the wall. We'll actually do that before modules. And then by the end of this video, we're going to power it on and see everything. So let's go ahead and finish this wall. Ta-da! And we're back. So where did we leave you? We left you. We hadn't hung the rest of the panels. So we hung the rest of the panels, hung our lower support bar as well. Got that all lined up and then we started wiring. Okay. So what does wiring look like with a permanent style LED wall? Uh, wiring is going to be a little different, but pretty much the same as a temporary wall where I've followed the diagram that was given to me by creation LED. And for this wall, we're going to run it at 208 volts, uh, high voltage. Um, you could run them at 120 as well, but it's typically more efficient to run them higher. Um, they can give you direction there. Um, so we're running them at, at a 208 and we uh, have our power snaking through across everywhere. And then we have our data snaking through. Now power, it doesn't really matter which way you wire power for your LED wall, as long as you put the correct number of panels per circuit. In this case, all six of these panels are going on one circuit. Um, so it doesn't really matter what order you wire them in. Data, on the other hand, is very important to wire correctly. Again, they sent me a wiring diagram starting here, coming around. So we brought in our main data that's running down through the wall out to the processor, which we'll plug in in a minute on our first port. Um, and then it runs down and across chaining through each panel using the in and out jacks. All the cables are provided in the package. Um, so you just got to hook them up. Okay. At this point, we're, let's start snapping modules in. So. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll grab a module. Again, we can use our vacuum tool, but you really don't need to um, because you have all the panels off. So, and I'm just going to start. I'm going to inspect my module, make sure there's no bad pixels. Um, there weren't from the factory. It was great. Um, but, you know, pixels can get knocked off uh, at, even when you're being careful when you take things off. Um, the finer the pixel pitch, this is a 2.5. Um, the easier it typically is to knock the pixels off. And this being a permanent install wall, they're not armored or anything like that. Okay, so we're just going to take each module. It's actually a very simple process. And you just want to go and hook up your wires. So I go and find my data for this bottom panel. There's an up arrow on the back of these modules. Um, every module is a little bit different, but this brand that uh, Creation LED uses has an up arrow. And so that lets you know which way is up. There is a input on the data and an output, which we're not using. Each panel's on its own data. And then there's power, which uh, comes out right next to the data jack. You know, in theory, you don't have to match them up one to one, but it's a good idea too. Okay. <laughs> so then all we do with that for that module is we go ahead and pop it in. It has eight magnets that are holding it in place, and it is a very lightweight piece of equipment. So it's not going to take much. Um, I'm going to go ahead, put in all of my modules. Then what's going to happen next? I'm going to power it up, plug it into the wall. Um, in this case, you know, that means I'm running a cord to a plug in a truly permanent installation. Um, I would go ahead and have your electrician put you a plug wherever you need them uh, that or hardwire direct. That's going to be your best bet. Again, that's specific to your specific installation. Um, but we're going to wire that processor in, wire that power up, be ready to fire everything up uh, when we come back. Let's do it. Ta-da! And like that, guys, we have a wall. So as mentioned, I went in, put all the rest of the modules in, Got things uh, pretty much lined up. There's a little bit of uh, module zhuzhing that I could still do, and I probably will later, just to get things just a little bit more aligned. Um, but overall, as you can see, it turned out great. So this is how you build a permanent install LED wall um, with Creation LED. Thanks to them for letting us borrow this demo wall. Check it out. Um, it's been super helpful to have, and I think we'll have it in our studio here for uh, a while. Uh, maybe indefinitely, to be able to have in our videos and, and show you guys how to work with LED, how to get it as part of your show or event, because ultimately um, the lighting and video are coming together more than ever. So if you're interested in these walls, again, for permanent install, um, they're 
definitely a really great, really high quality product, really great color depth, um, just a, a really awesome wall, but without the really awesome wall, uh, super high price. So if you want to check them out, LearnStageLightingGear.com will have all of the models. Um, they're all custom made because they are for permanent, so do keep that in mind. Um, but we'll have some packages available so you can check those out. And if you have any questions about these Creation LED walls or anything else uh, that you might be looking to buy, check us out at LearnStageLightingGear.com. We've got a contact form. You can email us at gear at LearnStageLighting.com or last, request a quote through the site and we'll be able to help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you learned something in building an LED wall. Check out my review of this wall here on the Gear channel, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks.